can't see. Do you think it would be okay if I ordered some food? I think actually food is a good idea. This is a high stakes meeting right now, Cleo, and I think actually that's very diplomatic. I can see exactly. now why you are the Earth Science diplomat. <laughs> Cause Zachary, now I was thinking like maybe like about. I mean, there's a, there's a few of us. So I'm thinking like like 48 kilos. You're exactly right. Once again, we should order by weight. <laughs> I mean, that's one thing I do know. Wait, but Deets, Deets, do you um do you do you part? Can you eat? I think you know that I can't. Right. Well, seems strange that we're meeting in a restaurant. We could get a battery pack. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. What about Shannon? <laughs> Shannon, would you like anything? We don't need to eat. I'm here for one reason. I ain't gonna you, have a couple. Gonna, gonna you, have a couple. Tinhead, your princess. She's got the facilities to deal with this problem. Why haven't you acted already? Just burn the damn mushrooms to the ground and be done with it. Well, well oh, clear. This is the tentacle. It ain't, ain't helping. It's just unfortunate that not everyone can understand the importance of good cuisine. I mean, I just thought we could eat together and this would just sort itself out. Oh, I, I, could, I could have some of them fried shrimps. Now, Quiet. there we go. I don't, just mm -hmm. Hold your gun, look menacing. Fine, you eat shrimp if you need to. But, oh, keep hold of your gun. You think Dietz's people are going to... Look, look at them. Pass them. They're making moves pass already. Them. Oh, pass them. Yes, just keep pass pass them. Them. Yes. Yeah, pass them to your left, please. Look, we have never, in our mercenary lives, signed a contract that has not been sealed with some type of pancake. Now today, we've passed pancake time, so we thought a good dinner. <laughs> Fine, eat all you like. These fools don't know anything about what they're talking about. You think we can just burn down the mushrooms? Why do you think they're here in the first place? When they built this station, they introduced them. They're producing the air that you all are breathing. Now, I wouldn't mind too much if we were to thin that air out a bit and maybe up the synth population. My employer probably would feel otherwise, considering she is a carbon-based life form. Well, well that is quite the reveal, Deets. All right, we can strike that off the uh, off the list there, Boris. I think I'm um, burning yep. to a crisp. Oh, man, okay. well, I shouldn't have stepped on well, so many of them. So, so I still put the flamethrowers on the battle train. Yeah, Boris, just... Yeah. Boris, key. Yeah. The key, Boris. The key. The train is key. Ah, uh, by train, I meant... I'm teaching... I'm teaching a group of squirrels to operate flamethrowers. Oh, Boris, we just going to... Battle training. <laughs> right. That's good, Boris. You did it. Good, good job. Well, fine, if... If Zuzu can't burn down the mushrooms, then what good is it forging this alliance? I just want to get my people out of there. Well, that's what we're here to discuss. Hello and welcome, everybody, welcome. to another. Oh, hello! Another of another of these little dollops of fun <laughs> that we just sort of splatter on the plate oh, like wow. a like a like a late nineties oh. gourmet chef. You know, we kind of we got a smear of one color here. We got a <laughs> back and forth over it. Like and we assemble pollock. those flavors into a yeah. uh, you know. And then we've got like a little stack of pancakes in the middle, oh. and that's what we call Fresca. The podcast <laughs> that is. <laughs> The Backwater Bastards in space. In space. There we go. We are ready to start. It has now begun. I'm, I'm running out of ways to. Uh, you will never run out of ways. There will always be new inspiration that will come into your brain. <laughs> Great. Well, hello everybody. I'm DM Dick. With me, as always, we have the lovely, the uh, indomitable. The imitable or unenviable. What am I trying to say? It's Dan, <laughs> aka Doctor Z, the psychic jellyfish alien. Oh, I swore you were talking about Taylor there, but thank you very much. I am here and I am ready to to negotiate. I'm going to put the ah. negotiating hat on today. Oh yes. <laughs> and with me, 
as always, I have the beautiful, the indomitable, the imitable, the unenviable. Wait a second. No, that's Dan again. Yeah, I was like, are you just trying to cook me Dan's dinner? <laughs> but also, fed, we've just got Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Taylor, a.k.a. Cleo DeCap, the sign explosives <laughs> expert. I do feel right now, like, when you watch a program about a zoo and they show, like, what each animal gets to eat and they're all different, that didn't happen to us tonight. No, we got, we're feeding out the same trough. <laughs> We don't, even get di- we don't even get dishes. <laughs> we get a bucket to share. <laughs> That's fine. But the bucket is on like a rope hanging from the tree and you've got to work to get your dinner. Enrichment. Oh. Get your enrichment. Hit the bucket back over here, Daniel. <laughs> Catch. Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> we would be phenomenal in a zoo. Yeah, we'd we? work so well. We'd sell so many tickets. Oh, I need to stop right now because I'm about to spiral. Yeah. <laughs> I've already imagined our life in the zoo. Well. It's arguably better than what we have right now. It's a nice enclosure. What, what animals? Well, first of all, this Ourselves. is what yeah. we are. Ourselves. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's I nice see. that you tried to take it there. But looking over that glass enclosure into the next one, we see DM Dick Dynamite over there by himself <laughs> in a little lonely corner behind a GM screen. How's it doing over there? On a concrete Dick? plank. It's lo- it's lonely at the top. Oh <laughs> wow, he managed to flip that and reverse it very quickly. <laughs> Dick magic. <laughs> Dick magic. Wow. Anyway, Woo. welcome guys. We are we are just bang in the middle of things, and we've we've had we a are. bit of a time jump. If you didn't get that from the cold open, yes. So when we when we last left our bastards, they'd gone into the green room where Dietz's scientists were studying the mushrooms of midspace. And had discovered, after putting them in a room of psychic dampness and cutting them off from the one true leader's influence, that they had their own consciousness beneath that. And they were none too happy to be forced into the song of the cult, to have their, their psychic waves utilized for other beings and their own, their own communications just completely cut off. They've been trapped in a, in a box. And all of those mushrooms back down there in the, in the Night City, they are still trapped in that box. Mm, yeah, and not only that, they revealed to Cleo the true image of the one true leader, <sighs> and the one true leader, much like Doctor Z, is an Atola Medusa, a psychic jellyfish. No! <gasps> but some time has passed since then. The bastards have had time, so Cleo was able to uh, get the uh, get the the mush- mushroom spirits to remove the barb from her psyche, and and they are holding it for safekeeping with the notion that maybe it could be returned to her at a later date when the mushrooms are free and she could maintain a relationship with them and like allow the bastards to continue to communicate with this network, which is an interesting prospect. Who doesn't want a giant bear as a friend? Who doesn't want a mushroom army as a friend? <laughs> I mean, they're powerful as well. You saw when they like they hoisted up Doctor Z, like they just. Dick that is was like, just one I don't well, want you, you to have that. You know, they they, they they didn't do it. It wasn't that impressive. It was, you know, it happened. But uh... <laughs> you ever been picked up by a mushroom? <laughs> yeah, well, Depends on what they... kind, right? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what you mean by picked up. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I still. Oh my a god! A lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> but the bastards they've had a few days to sort of get things together we have. and to uh to come back to deets you know w- with an offer to uh they will help out with dealing with this problem because deets obviously has a vested interest in ending the spread of these mushrooms you know zuzu arguably owns this station she certainly wants to at least and uh of channon the revolutionary who has a sizable number of their forces have been co-opted into being the military arm of the cult. He wants to free them, understandably. So this unlikely meeting in a restaurant right on the edge between Midspace proper and the Night City, chosen by Z and Cleo as a place that they thought would probably have quality fried goods and a, a generally sort of a neutral zone that uh, isn't hugely beneficial to either side. So Channon has come accompanied by just a pair of uh, Yellow Beret soldiers, revolutionaries. Ooh. And uh, Dietz has a pair of, of just uh, gangsters either side of him. There's, uh, there's another synth and a darks. And all of them are fully armed. They're open carrying in this restaurant. I mean, yeah, they get, they're getting some sort of, you know, some glares from the regulars. But there's been a, uh, 
a, a robot waiter that's been sort of popping around trying to offer you all more coffee and uh, taking Cleo's various food orders as she uh, continues to think with her stomach. <laughs> Perfect. But yeah, this unlikely group of you, you've got together and are now planning and trying to work out how to deal with this mushroom problem. Right, well, if what you say is true, Dietz, that the mushrooms have been brought to facilitate the life support of the entire station, then well, Shannon, we are going to need to rethink this entire strategy. Well, we don't need to take out the mushrooms if we can take out the cult. Why don't you just firebomb them? Do you think I haven't tried that? No, they have defenses. They're trickier than they look. Well, they was. Maybe things is different now. I highly doubt that, Furball. No, if we go in with ships, they'll take us out of the air. We need to go in quiet, in small numbers. Well then, maybe we should all put our cards on the table. What does each group think they're best at? Maybe we can build a strategy from that. (laughs) I'm doing what I'm best at right now. Cleo, you are indeed. (laughs) (laughs) Well, of course, we've been able to keep an eye on them from the the buildings quite well in the past. Uh, We did show a hand a little bit when we fired on them the other day. They've been keeping a a closer eye on the the neighbouring buildings, so we won't be able to get in that way, but I think we can still find an angle. We can offer support from from high above, I guess is what I'm saying. Okay, so we have... We have Shannon and the, uh... Do you have a name for your group? We have the Resistance. The Midspace Revolutionaries. Ah. That's ridiculous. The MPR. If you were Resistance, then you would have beaten us. No, you're just children, playing at a game. Deets, I'm gonna slow you down there. Do we need to remind everyone here of all the failures that everyone has had happen to them? The kind of... Like looking at their arms, <laughs> looking at his Deet's, arms. Deet sort of glares at Doctor Z. I can think of a few. For me, just if we're starting. You want to go a second round, Ursine? I think you'll find my new chess is much harder to break. <laughs> well, I mean, I think we shop at the same uh, store, so same. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We can all get to fighting each other after this has been sorted out. Now, Shannon, we can put you in charge of espionage and keeping track. If your people are still keeping an eye from a safe distance, then that means that we can see them before they see us. Yes, I think that's exactly how it's going to go. Right. Now, as far as ourselves, I think you all understand how Cleo and I operate. We don't mind getting in there. We don't mind... Solving problems. <laughs> <laughs> we have numbers. We can send a, a small but powerful unit in there, but we can have a larger unit ready to come in as soon as we have broken through their defenses. We can round up whoever stays loyal to that leader while you get in there and take them out. See? Yes, clear. Now, I mean, I ain't trying to call an alligator a lizard, but... Are you saying that only me and you is going in? Of course not. Of course it's not going to just be me and you. Well, who else? Well, Boris for one. Yes, I've I've been training squirrels for the task. (laughs) (laughs) Well, look. (laughs) Boris sort of touches his nose and like winks really obviously Ah. at, uh, at the two of you. For what? Yes! A round of drinks for Boris. Thank you, Boris. You finally understood. (laughs) (laughs) That training is going to be very important, Boris. (laughs) Clear is just like, is he talking about the key? Yes, yes, Clear. We're talking about the key. Oh, oh, okay, okay. (laughs) I got you. Oh, the key. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, Doctor. The the training I have found goes in very interesting directions. Yes, all right. Okay, that's enough of talking about squirrels, Boris. <laughs> Con- <laughs> Contrain your, yourself. <laughs> 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 
I'm just saying that the line that the training has taken could be very useful on many fronts. Oh, here, Boris. Boris, choo-choo's your next tentacle on me, on the house. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, the keys to success, you know what I mean? Deets, buddy. (laughs) Now, on top of that, we also have one more card, I believe, that we can offer. Trevor. Now, Trevor is the best damn pilot this side of midspace. Well, yes, but I don't, I don't like the sound of this not being able to go in with, uh, with ships. What do you mean by that, Dates? Ah, uh, the one true leader exerts a certain amount of influence over their followers. But that is not all. I suppose I should show you something. And Dates immediately just, like, sort of projects out of his head a, um... A projection screen out in front of you, and you see like it's 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 dark night city, and there's the sort of this shaky um, footage from either someone's helmet or perhaps from um, from the circuitry of a of a synth, and you're you're behind the uh, behind the cockpit of a um, of a ship, and the ships are just coming into the night city. There are other ships around. It seems like it's like a good half dozen of these stealth fighter bombers that are coming in. Ooh. And there's the green glow below as they all sort of ducking and weaving between the buildings, coming in around. And as the ship bursts out above a familiar looking opening where there's the square with the pond and all the, the mushroom shanty town that the cultists are living in, all of a sudden you see that the ships ahead start getting torn apart and just explosions oh, and being slammed and dropped down. And then the footage goes dead. Those mushrooms. They're full of unchecked telekinetic energy. The one true leader knows this and controls this. Deets, when we were at your laboratory, the green room, you had managed to build psychic dampeners around the entire laboratory. Is there any way that we could take that and use it to hide the ship, to hide the Grey Dragon, to drop off a strike force? Now you're thinking... We might be able to shield one ship. Well, what do you say to that then, Trevor? Hey, if there's more upgrades for our ship, I'm all for it. If you can make it so that one true leader can't see us, with their mind at least, I'm sure I can dodge any other telekinetic waves. You're looking at the best damn pilot in the galaxy. Well, Cleo, there he goes again. <laughs> with his hero shit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is all so intense. I feel like I'm actually at a table with all these badasses right now. Like, oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's intense because this is like a fix it. This is a fix it moment. We have to mm. work together. Yeah. Captain, damn it. He is a hero. <laughs> <laughs> well. Heck. Now. If you, if you can get us in there, Trevor and I, I know you can. <laughs> Ain't nobody fly like Trevor, even if he thinks he's a hero. I mean, that one thing is true. He's a hero of, of a few things. I mean, he's windy as a sack of farts. Yes. Trevor. <laughs> it, you know, he is a man talking with his tongue out of his shoe. And he is not the cleanest either as well. I've I mean, seen you in the really kitchen. Ain't. He really ain't. Hey, if, we're, if we're done ragging on you me, you can I'll, peel the stink right off of him. Like a I think I'll just skin. examine the maps and just get a good idea of where I'm flying. So thank you. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll, we'll leave you to that. Now I know Trevor can get us in, and uh, it would be nice if we could be invisible. So thank you, Deets. That's the first and last time for that. Yeah. But yes, I think we're done with the laboratory anyway. We can repurpose the dampeners. Why? What? What are you going to do to that laboratory? We will probably repurpose it for other experiments. You, you going to clean it out? What else would we do? But you got, you got a whole, you got a whole room. Li- they're, they're living in there. Well, they'll be living in the dumpster when we're finished. Oh, well now. <laughs> that just, that ain't it. That ain't it. I ain't going in without them. The mushrooms. What do you propose? We transport the entire colony of mushrooms aboard your ship. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) 
This is becoming much more trouble than it's worth. Well, the ways I say it, there's a big job to to be done, and uh, looks like looks like me and the doctor and and Boris is going in to do it. Fine. If you think the mushrooms will be an aid to your cause, take them. We don't need them any longer. Trevor, write that down. We got somewhere to be after this. You said it was a, it was a big room, right? Were they all gonna fit? Don't worry, that... When have we ever worried about scale before? <laughs> don't worry, Trevor. <laughs> we can put some of them in the, in the infirmary, some of them in the dining room, and some of them in... What's the, what's the closest bedroom to that? Oh, that's yours, Oh, that's Trevor. Trevor's room, yes. We could keep some in Trevor's room. Well, Trevor, you got the biggest room. It's because I've got the most stuff. Well, you sure do. You sure do. You've got a lot of mushrooms, Trevor. <laughs> Tell him, Boris. <laughs> well, he's not got mushroom anymore. Oh! <laughs> Everybody else sustains one point of psychic damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ch- Chan and, and Deeds are just sort of staring at, at the four of you like, the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> Trevor, yeah. look, we we'll unload you, some Dan. things back at base. Fine, but they're not staying there. Once we've saved them, we can put them somewhere else. See, don't forget the key. I've Heck. not forgotten. Not forgotten the key, clear. Well, me and Boris are being really good about the key, but... <laughs> Just saying. Now we've got air, ground, and espionage covered. I feel like we've got most pieces on this table ready to move. It's just now figuring out how and when we move these pieces. If you can get my ship to the laboratory as quick as possible, my people can have it outfitted by the evening. We got something to pick up there anyway. Very good. How about you, Docs? Are your people in place? My people have always been in place. They're watching even now. I got a message just a second ago. The cultists are up to something, by the way. Have you got a live feed? No, they're just sending me messages. (laughs) No. (laughs) What future is this? I want a live feed. Turn on the camera, dude. Turn video up. (laughs) Where's your hologram watch? TB. 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 (laughs) They're only getting snippets. I told you we can't get close to their compound at the moment. Your people don't have Twitch? (laughs) I'm keeping my bets to myself, which is actually what everyone should do. (laughs) Um. (laughs) Unless you're both keen as hell. Yes. (laughs) In that case, fuck away. All right. Come back from that. I've got to tell you all, it's not good. The messages I've got coming in from my people. They're setting up cannons. They're setting up a perimeter already. Yes, they they must know we're coming. They must know something's up. Deet, there's someone in your employ let's slip. It's possible. Hey, what do you want me to say? They're all criminals. Well, we're all criminals. I don't trust many of my people further than I can throw them. Admittedly, I can throw most of them quite far. Well, I mean, we have seen the truth of that. Heck. See, they know. They know we're coming, Cleo. We're going to have to act fast. Heck. You know, even if we've got the psychic dampeners, like, that's not going to hide us from the cannons. That's why we have you piloting the ship, Trevor. The hero! The dampeners can only do so much. Cannons? Don't tell me you need help dodging cannons. No, you're right. It's going to be tricky getting you guys to the ground. Well, but you're talking to the world's best hole finder. Yes. And you forgot, we are wearing keen. Oh yes, Cleo, you can try out those wings, finally. Fuck. <laughs> base, base jumping space bear. Wait, yeah. hold That's on, That's also a hold pretty on. good episode title. Hold on. Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't know you like meant that they were real. You can glide on them. Oh my god, I thought you were just letting me here. have them aesthetically. I didn't know. <gasps> they, they glide, man. They glide. They do like a video game oh, glide sick. to the ground. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's. I, I, I put them in there because you're always falling off shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, b- before we go, we got to synchronize. Everybody put your comms in. Put my hand in. <sighs> All right. I'm going to have to get a whole new communications relay after yeah, deleting well, well, these, your browser these gets what my criminal scumbags. 
Fine. Here we go. This is me. All right. Hands All right. in the middle, dates. That's the way it works. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> my communicator is actually in my way. Be careful. You don't want me to get that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, the leg counts. I got a spare for you. Don't worry. I got, I got you covered. Boris, you too now. Boris, everybody. Uh, yes. That's it. Get in there. Mine is vintage, but it still works very well. What is that? Oh, that, the, the tape is a little bit loose, but that, that's only a cosmetic part. That's just the back a of it. A piece just fell off of it. Boris, heck. That's not an, that's not an important part. It's I in the food. Use that. I knew I wasn't going to be able to finish these. I never do. <laughs> all right. I think we're safe. All right, we've all got it. We've got a group channel then. Group. Shannon, you got, are you going to, you going to sink all your people? <sighs> We're supposed to be a secret organization, you know. Well, I'll leave it to you to have your own group chat. But don't call me I can, when I can, south. I can relay all the important information, don't you worry. What good will your secret organization be when everything is that? When everything right, I'll, is I'll, not look, secret. I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you one of my <laughs> commanders as well. Here we go. This, this is the, this is the, commun the comms for Nyssa. She's a... Uh, She's the head of all the espionage anyway. She's probably the best one to be talking to. Nessa. Mm. Okay, I'm... All right, hold on. I got... Now I got to... I'm going to have to change the... Yes. Okay. Just Set let me... The world it takes clock. a minute. Sit, I'm getting it. My finger is bigger than yours. All right, hold on. Can you get... Can you yeah, just... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll push... Go, no, yeah, no, right no, that... No, no, that I'm, one. I don't do it like yes. that. I, I do it no, now. Please, now that we have a group chat together, <laughs> keep it only for essential communications. <laughs> and I see and there's GIFs. already some some gifs. No, that's that's from Why me. is everyone why is everyone posting these animated pictures? That's a gif. <laughs> Boris show me that. <laughs> Look, now it is important that we post these pictures. We need to keep anyone guessing. We don't know who will be watching. So try to keep all your messages coded with Cute little pictures like this one. <laughs> Cleo, look at that. <laughs> wow, wow. What is that? <laughs> I was about to make an eggplant emoji joke, but I was like, fucking stop it. Gross. Next. <laughs> and then I got really like caught up in like, would Cleo know what an eggplant is? No. <laughs> anyway. Look, 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 look at this one. <laughs> uh, squirrel equals train. <laughs> <laughs> he winks. And touches his nose again. <laughs> oh, that's it, Trevor. <laughs> or Boris. Or <laughs> whatever, y'all. Everybody's using the key. Y'all using the key real good. Good job. Everybody good job. And just to be clear, as soon as this is all over, we all go back to being enemies. Well, of course. What fun would Midspace be without you there, in the dark, always lurking, with new hands? Well, I thought that went without saying. We will win our freedom. After we make sure that there's still going to be a mid-space worth being free. Well, that's finer and frog hair split four ways. Now, I'm going to take the rest of of what's here, uh, the tentacles. I'll take care of it. <laughs> and everybody just, we got somewhere to be. Bye. Yes, I've got to raise a reliable army. We'll be in contact. <laughs> he ain't already got the army. Heck. Heck. See, this is the problem when you have gangsters running your town. Anyway, I've got things to organize as well. See you down there in the dark side. We'll be watching from above. I hope you will be. Better be. Stay safe and don't trust Dietz. That's probably a good reminder. He was very quick. He was very quick to make sure that you were the ones leading the assault while he's held back in reserve. Well, that's Dietz what do you is think he's got planned? Yes, I don't think you understand... That, I think, was a sign of respect. Look how many of his hands I'm wearing. Look, I'm just saying, watch your backs. I certainly will be. Shannon, we have a common enemy. There's no point trying to divide us after we've already agreed. Your funeral. Bye. Heck. Well, heck. This is quite fun, though. <laughs> Boris, give us an update. How far are you along on squirrel plans? Um, okay, well, it's... It is on the track. It was on the track last time we left. Well, yes, and it goes along the track. Oh, y'all are talking about the train. Yes, well, he doesn't actually have any squirrels. 
why I don't know what a swirl is. It's like a fluffy rat. Oh, that's, that sounds real nice. You saying we ain't <laughs> yes, got we that? Yes, we have them on you, Terra. How are we going to get a swirl? Well, I could probably get you one, Cleo. Let's not get sidetracked on squirrels. Let's talk Let's about the main right squirrel. For later. For, t- for next week. One okay, well, squirrel. The train part. I've got that sorted, I think. I haven't taken it up to full speed yet because I thought you would all want to be on board when we did that, but the plans maybe have changed. <laughs> it does seem like the maiden voyage, Boris, will be you alone. That's a damn shame. Well, it's still very exciting. I, it is missing in the weapons department a little bit. What can we do there? Well, remember, Cleo took some very big guns. I put some of them on top. It's fantastic. There was also a, was a set of legs with a cannon. Oh, uh, yeah. I found, I found sitting in the garage. I thought it was a very nice cannon. So that was the centerpiece of my battle train. Nice. And the mobile turret. Did you find that? The mobile turret. Oh, yes. All right, all right. That's it. We had a big one and a small one. I put one on either side. Okay. The big one has a flamethrower as well. Oh, wow. Well, where now? Where'd you get that? What'd you take apart? Oh, just some things. Just some things. The last time you took something apart, I didn't eat for three weeks. Well, there's this giant pile of untreated star sand. It's the perfect fuel. Wait, Boris. You've been going into the pile of credits. Well, they, they went in files. <sighs> Boris is spread that our fucking savings. <laughs> Don't worry. We still have half of it. Well, we're going to have half, half of that? After this? Heck. Oh, I might have got a little bit over-enthusiastic trying it out. <laughs> what? Trevor did like it. <laughs> well, at least y'all are finally getting along. How are we going to be a family otherwise? Look, I might have my reservations about the train, but the tracks do actually go right under that area. Well, that you is good say. news. Wow. And, uh, yeah, Boris wasn't kidding when he said that, uh, we could use it later, because it goes right under Deet's bar as well. Well, let's keep that to ourselves. We still don't know who's watching us. Those spies before. Quite sneaky. Hmm. Now, we, we got, we got things to do, y'all. We gotta pick up the mushrooms and get outfitted. Well then, one drink for the road? <laughs> well, like five? Yes, let's make that like five, Trevor. Go up there and Heck. give me a trash bag for all this tentacle. Didn't think you people would get me into a war again this quickly. <laughs> think of it as a light skirmish. Now what else are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> To squirrels. <laughs> to squirrels. To the squirrels. Yes, yes, to Boris's secret project. <laughs> yeah, squirrels. <laughs> oh man, these, tan- these tentacles are even better when they get cold. I'm sorry, can we get one more round around here? I don't think we're going home anytime soon. We ain't. <laughs> can I get mine in like a... Like an industrial receptacle, like do you have an old barrel? Or like a <laughs> like a petrol tank? Or like a like like literally a barrel. Like a like for fuel. <laughs> or like an explosives. <sighs> yeah, if all you got is Yeah. <laughs> a trash can'll do. <sighs> that may be the first time. That's disgusting, Cleo. Well, I mean, now that it's got kind of a patina on it, if you look, that, that extra syrup in the bottom. And so, after a few more rounds, to, if we're going to be perfectly honest, we will. The, uh, the bastards uh, 
make their way back to the lab, load on the uh, the mushrooms along with the, the psychic dampeners onto the grey dragon, ready to relocate them and keep them in place, and set off to uh, to go back to the hideout to, to work out how things are going with the, bat- with the battle train and to make some final plans and preparations, keeping in contact. Uh, primarily Channon, whose people have been keeping an eye on the cult. It looks as though the... Um, the cult have been forming some sort of perimeter of additional weapons and cannons. They've, they've set up a Fuck. whole lot more defenses that from when you were last there. So they're definitely anticipating some sort of attack. Whether they know it's a unified front between, um, between you, the resistance and Dietz, you can only guess at, but they, they certainly, they're aware of something. Those motherfuckers. So it is that, uh, that nightfall comes and everyone is in position and Trevor along with Cleo and, and Dr. Z, pilots the Grey Dragon silently down towards the Night City. Right, okay, now I've got blades, check, batteries, shield, health packs. Cleo, have you got everything? Oh, oh no! No, I'm trying... I'm, I'm trying to fit all these tentacles in my snack... in my snack compartment. Just... Carb load now, and then keep the rest later. I don't know when I'm going to need more. What if I become a prisoner of war? I'm going to need at least a kilo, and I can only fit... There's plenty of mushrooms down there, Cleo. I can't eat them now. We're friends. We know each other. What about you, Trevor? Are you ready? I'm always ready, Z. You could say I Don't finish that line. We don't need to hear it. And I'll bash on Reese. How about you, Reese? I am terrified, Doctor. Oh, the butter knife scared. I trust Trevor's piloting. However, it sounds like there are many cannons. Yes, I'm afraid you're right, Reese. There are. The early reports we've got seem to have been, well, wrong. These later reports have uh, shown that they have increased their perimeter. Oh. <laughs> Man, one day we need to take Reese on like a, va- a Reese vacation. <laughs> Reese vacation. <laughs> like, Reese vacation. Reese vacation. Shit, poor Reese. Mm. And uh, hang on, let me just push the push the talk here. Boris, you're in position, right? Of course. Don't worry. You hear that, Reese? I just thought maybe. Oh. I just thought it would make you feel a little bit better. No, Boris got his own ride and all. It's a wild L dog. I am not entirely confident that Trevor knows how to activate the butter knife. Don't worry about that, Reese. Boris showed me. I can do it. Now, Trevor is the best pilot. At least, you know, in this... In this galaxy. In this ship. Okay, let's all calm down our expectations. He's the best I mean, pilot in bit. this ship. Well, <laughs> in this... In this constellation. How, how about that? Oh, uh, well, in this We're immediate area. not even near area. a star. What constellation? Okay. I didn't think he would catch that. <laughs> but good on you. Good on you, Trevor. See, now, not only is you a good pilot, but you're smart. Heck. Cleo, how are we looking for time? Well, we're out of it, see? It's time to go. Well... Stand up. Put a sloppy jelly on Trevor's shoulder. Well, see you shortly, Trevor. <laughs> Ain't no heck. time like the pheasant. Heck. 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 We'll be in the airlock. You just let us know when you're ready. And don't fly around too harshly. Look, I spent a lot of time rearranging all of those models. What? I might have to dodge giant mushroom telekinesis, so, you know... You're just going to have to tidy up again. Well, don't worry about it. Never thought of fixing things to the shelves. Don't worry about it, because I put extra water in my aquarium so that if you round a corner too hard and it sloshes out all over the place, it'll maybe it'll drip, you know, into your room from my room and feed all the mushrooms. You're right, Cleo. There are worse things to worry about. Okay, do not (laughs) worry about it. Keep yourself safe. We'll be in the loading bay. Heck. All right, Reese. Let's go. Oh no! So Trevor quietly and slowly 
pilots you flying literally under the radar going in between the buildings back towards the place where you know the cult are headed as you're coming in you do see down below in the streets just small units of gangsters basically of Dietz's people wow. there there's mostly synths because obviously it gives them an edge against a um a telepathic opponent but there seem to be a few other sort of like humanoid type figures as well amongst them obviously he couldn't get an army of oh, full synths damn wait he couldn't so you see them stalking I like how you like said rifles, that really quiet rifles in hand <laughs> sort of stalking the streets slowly beneath you sort of closing in oh shit it's all for so real meanwhile you see no real signs of Chenin's people of the, of the resistance but you know they're up there watching and in fact as you start pulling in closer in you get a buzz in your message group where Chenin is alright you're perfectly on time I see you need to be careful in there. They got the cannons aimed up. Looks like they're expecting a ship. Wait, you mean they're expecting us? I don't know. They, they look like they're expecting someone. Trevor, are you hearing this? Yes, and I don't like it. I mean, of course I can I can avoid the I can avoid the cannons, but you're putting a lot of trust in me because I might have to dodge whatever it was that took out Dietz's ships that time. Of course we're putting a lot of trust in you, Trevor. All right, well, worst comes to worst, I will get the two of you into the camp. It's in your hands at that point. <laughs> when ain't it? Clear. See? Now, I know that this is uh, probably something we should just let happen with instinct and, uh, you know, kind of uh, muscle reflex, but uh, have you had any idea of what type of pose we're going to strike once we land? You know, I'm glad you asked. I have been it's thinking It's just these about things it. we should think about every now and then. We can't just leave it to mm-hmm. a neat kind of, mm-hmm. you know, skill, you can. You can. talent. No. Sometimes you gotta metagame it. You know what I'm this, saying? This is a big deal, Cleo. There's like three different groups here working together, and they kind of look to us for, well, that little you, extra pizzazz. Did you notice? Ain't, ain't a none of them talked about what pose they were going to do. Well, I imagine, Cleo, that's because they are looking Amateurs. forward to it. Amateurs. No, no, I imagine they're just excited. The audience is awaiting. Well, they're excited. Amateurs is what it is. Now, well, now that, that, here's that a couple of the... Here's what I've been working on. Okay, myself, yes. Run pri- me through Just them. privately. I was kind of Trevor, thinking, keep us updated with what's going on up there. But, uh, you know, we're, we're doing the important stuff back here, so... Don't worry, Trevor. Only emergencies. All right, we'll just be ready to jump. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, we'll be doing us. God, he can talk. Oh, but, he can, um, can't he? Now, here, I was thinking maybe, like, you know, we do the Z-O. Yeah, of course. It's okay. kind of a That's standard. That's nice. People like that. It is people nice. like that. It's also what people maybe expect at this point. I think you're right. I think they do. And I, I was really thinking, like, how could we escalate it? Mmm. Let me, let me see those moves. All right. Okay, here I'm doing. <clears throat> oh, well, that one really pulls me, like, right under my, under my butt cheek, but. Uh, it pulls uh, me in different ways as well, uh, Cleo. That, like, if I could lift you like this, and then, like, we spin around and look like you're going to slip, but but don't pop up. Pop, pop. Oh, like a drunken master. We could do a little bit of a little slip, but not a real slip. Yeah, you got to, like, go limp, pop, go limp, and then pop, and then go limp. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, let, let, me, let me try this. Limp, pop. Yeah. Limp, pop. Yeah, you got to go limp, 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 limp and pop. just flap, flap in the wind. Flap in the wind like a flap, flap like ah, a like a limp tentacle. Just yeah. Well, that's I mean that's what you are when you're well, flapping. There we go. I can do this easily. Yeah, well, that looks great. <laughs> it's a good sound too. Like if it, if you get stuck onto the armor, it's like a. Cleo, I am so glad you thought about this. I was I was glad completely we had winging it, but I'm glad you have come in prepared. Janice just sent a message through. We're we're coming in close. We're, we're going to be any second. We're going to be in within range of their cannons. So get ready for a bit of a bump. Wait, 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 okay, we can handle bumps. But we're, just, we're just in our finalizing moments here. Okay, there's a lot of pressure on us right now, Trevor. There's a lot of bloody pressure on me. All right, Trevor. All right, Jesus. Trevor, yes. Oh, well. Wow. Heck, there they are. And on that, the ship starts tilting and, and sort of shaking about as uh, uh, Trevor is obviously up front there performing evasive maneuvers. Right, Cleo, so 
when we land, we'll do that tentacle yeah. move. Yeah. And and then oh, I, I guess I'll pull out my blade. Probably. The yeah. sounds of cannon fire sort of wailing past can, the ship outside. You can pull outside. them both or like one at the same. Is it going to be like pa pa, or is it going to just be like pa? I was imagining that I would bring out both. Yeah. And, oh, damn it. Yeah. Trevor's really oh. bloody moving, isn't he? Well, I was imagining I would bring both blades out and just just really open up. Just okay, let I everyone like see what I have to have to offer. You smell that? Oh, that smells like burning. Oh, that's just that's the charcoal. Oh. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Don't worry back there. I activated the knife. Seems like it burns through some of the cannon fire. Okay, now well. Now we're going to jump through the knife. Yes, I hope you're going to turn the knife off before we jump, Trevor. Of course I'm hacking going to turn it off. Just wait a second. I need a... Oh, I need a, I need a gap in the fire. He tells us to wait a second. Cleo, can you imagine? The, oh, we, oh, you're, you're, you're going to... Like, okay, just, you're going to have to look down. You, you, you're going to have to see this. Right, okay, well... Heck. As you sort of look out the airlock down below, you can see that um, now looking down around the perimeter, there's not that many. It's about ten cannons set up, but there's right also now, I can just like see all this in my mind. It's like just so... in the darkness, in the darkness around all these glowing mushrooms. There's also just like constant fire of rifles and blasters, as well as these ten cannons just sort of choo, choo, right up at you. But coming from the pond in the centre of the clearing. There seems to be like just a green flicker and shake, and then eventually you realise that it is just a wave of energy and mushroom bits and spores and just debris that is just flying up towards the ship. A huge area of what? effect of, of telekinetic energy as the one true leader is unleashing the power of the mushrooms in your direction. Wait, but this is a telekinetic attack or a physical attack? This is a, it's a telekinetic like attack, both. which is... Technically, it's is physical. physical yeah. but it's, okay, it's can like, I? It's physical, physical, but it's, it's controlled like a by the mind. Kinetic. Can I try and uh, project a uh, telekinetic shield? You ain't telekinetic. Yeah, I was like, uh oh. Oh, what am I? Telepathic. Oh, yes. Of oh, dyslexia. You win again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking real. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <sighs> well, well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My old friend. <laughs> <laughs> and now Dick's like, and now it's time for a puzzle. Can you do a math? No. I can't read and I can't count. Right, so. We I also going... can't tell time. Woo. Analog. I can't use analog clocks. Nope. Um, Too dumb. Too dumb. Okay. Trevor, Trevor, tell me you're seeing this. I'm the one who told you to look. Yes, yes I'm oh, seeing this. I'm seeing it as well. Are you dodging? I'm already dodging cannons. How do I dodge that? I mean, go up. Go more up. Go faster. Or just more up. <laughs> like, here it comes. I see it. I'm, I'm seeing it right now. Heck, heck, heck. All right. Let's see how this goes. The butter knife fires up. How do you fight telekinetic? <laughs> like, oh. is this is this like a fire, water, or like fairy? Dog? Well, when it, with Pokemon, psychic is all one thing. So, like, but what you know, this is is how this do we, how is how do we fight it? You just punch it. Cleo's gonna get real close and just punch it. Also, the mushrooms are gonna lend some type of power. I think they might be able to convert the tele telepathic into a telekinetic type thing. Eventually. So the mushrooms are like the vehicle for the magic. Like I did say in the last episode that Z had a sense that he could potentially tap into their telekinesis. Yeah, I think the mushrooms are going to be like a way of turning that into something. Right. But I think until then, it's going to be you and I just relying on nuts and bolts to fight magic, basically. You know, like when it comes to like old school heroes of might and magic, we're just going to have to be barbarians for a while and just like fuck. just physically brute our way through the whole Shit, thing. Shit, fuck. Shit balls. We're climbing the shit rope, Cleo, and we're right above a shit creek, and it is fucking raining shit. Randy! Randy! Shit storm is coming! Shit storm is a coming, Randy! Alright, guys, I've worked this out, but you're gonna have to jump out 
As soon as I say, just be ready. I've worked it out. All right. And and the ship picks up speed. The uh, the butter knife lit up as Trevor just dives down directly towards the wave of telekinetic energy. He's basically throwing a Hail Mary that, that the butter knife will cut through the telekinetic wave because he's realised that at the point where the telekinetic wave converges, the cannon fire is being absorbed and lost. Cannons can't fire through it. Okay. Trevor is a bloody sneaky man. And so he's diving down at high speed and then there's just a rumbling as the, the ship is just shaking apart like the shields are taking the brunt of this force but it is like a like a slow shaky cutting thing as the ship doesn't slide like a knife through butter it slides like a spoon through cheese oh turbulent <laughs> it takes it takes some effort as the shields are holding but n- barely and then the ship pops through and there's this blessed moment where Trevor just writes the ship, aiming it sort of down so that you can look out the airlocks back down at the ground again. Now! Clear. Punch it. Oh, let me have a tentacle first. And pop oh, my- bloody heck. I just, Push the button. Just the tentacle slips out of Cleo's mouth and just floats up as, we, <laughs> as, the, as the two of you eject out of the ship, free-falling in your fantastic keen armour. I pull in all my tentacles as well so that they pull back like a drop. So at the front of it is the uh, the armoured bit, like uh, oh, hitting it, it, and the rest is like appearing like a, like a drop behind. Oh, we're going to free-fall for a little bit just yeah. because you have to if you're hard. You Which we to. are. Yeah. We need that spinny camera. See, we're Eminem Falling, hard. You know? We're like, this is G Force now. This is X. We're still games. relatively high up. This is Sean White, Mountain Dews, baby. So as as you're sort of you're you're just skydiving, literally, Cleo's third is going back and forth. You got you know, Z has gone all streamlined and sort of uh Coming down through the air, there's like the debris cloud is sort of all sort of falling down as the telekinetic burst sort of you know fades away out of the range of the mushrooms. Feels like, and it's, you can see maybe it's time. The cannons are resuming their fire back towards Trevor, who's like still flying around, dodging and narrow escapes up there. Down below, you can see that the two of you in the darkness up above, going completely unnoticed as you just drop plummet from the sky down towards down towards the cultists the cultists town and the one true leader Cleo <laughs> Cleo Z- we're drifting apart I think this is a good moment to do what you suggested throw me a line I was going to say hold hands <gasps> Do you really mean that? What do you mean do I really mean it? We're falling and there is guns going off and we are drifting apart, Cleo. It's like the perfect time. This is not the perfect time. I don't think you understand what that means. I really do. I'm so excited. Just hold my hand, Cleo. Forever. (laughs) Oh, Boy, please Z don't make making us... up for his fuck up a few episodes back. Oh, I know. Don't make me roll for that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I think that is like a a pair of dexterity rolls. Are you to be honest. Kidding? Oh okay. my god! What you're trying to hold hands while falling through the air? Oh no! Don't make us do this. You know what? Although you know actually, what? Fucking... is it a dexterity hold roll or is it a strength? It's roll? a strength from Clear. That's for sure. <laughs> Because she's grabbing something. She's grabbing. Yeah. I'm grabbing it off. You ever seen a jellyfish get one of its little fingers ripped off? I'm, I'm willing to make this concession. Thank you, Dick. Mainly because I don't want Z to splat on the ground. <laughs> okay, I'm rolling a uh, <laughs> dexterity. Okay, strength. <gasps> I got a 24. And it's good that you did because Z is... Uh, I rolled a two, fuck. <laughs> because I got a 20... Everybody now. Taylor got... A 24, 24. and then got a two. Pop! So Z, <laughs> Z sort of trying to like dive towards Cleo and extend a, a honey boy hand. 
like it's all limply flapping and waving in the wind. He can't get purchase. He can't get it to it. Oh uh, no! He just Cleo. But Cleo reaching out with a one big strong yes. clawed and armored ursine hand. Thick. Firmly just <laughs> grasps Dr. Z's hand, <laughs> crushing it in her grip and holding tight like she will never let never. go. You gotta As carry two of you. you gotta carry your friends when they falter. Oh. <laughs> As the two of you are held together as you're dropping now, you've, you've reached a terminal velocity. The ground is approaching towards you. Cleo's drifting down, one arm drooping down, holding Z aloft by one hand, gliding through the sky. The, yeah, cannons just going off up above, one of them narrowly sort of going past you, only a few meters away. Yuck. But they're obviously aiming up at, um, at Trevor, who is still nimbly evading in the grey dragon up above. Every now and then you see he's firing up the um, the butter knife to take on blasts that he couldn't dodge, but so far the, the grey dragon is still there in the air distracting the cannons as you dr- drift down. And you you still, like, you're not going super slow. I mean, that's, yeah, you sort of, you've got a hand glider thing going on. So you're, you're slow enough that you can hit the ground and not die, but you're fast enough that uh, you can slam into a wall and hurt yourselves. I am immediately thinking I should probably try and mind shield us. I was wondering if you were going to say something like okay, that. Okay, so I'm going to roll a uh, telepathy and try and cast a little shield around the two of us. Oh, come on. 23. Yes, <gasps> yes, yes, 23. Yes, 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 Finally. yes, yes. That's because I rolled out my 20s at the start of the game, which is what everyone should do when they play. <laughs> <laughs> so as Z, Z is sort of building up a telepathic shield around the two of you, the split second before the shield comes up is this a quick flash of red. Fuck. And the, the two of you both here in your minds. I see you. Oh, shivers. Fuck. <laughs> as you both get the flash of that red Atola Medusa swimming angrily in the water. Clear. Zay. Clear. Zay. Is that the one you saw? That was him. The red jelly. I've shielded us. I've shielded our minds. But he saw us. That was the last time he saw us. We'll see him first. As you're drifting down, now your mind's hidden, but still sort of like drifting down on, on the, the trajectory of these glided wings. Noise. And then suddenly shooting up through the darkness like a javelin, a long girder, clearly ripped from a building somewhere, shoots narrowly past your head. Fuck! Flying up to where the one true leader must have guessed you might be. Oh my god, what a horrible weapon! And then clattering That's not into the city behind you somewhere. <laughs> just like, just can't use Gerda for offense. Oh my god! <laughs> like a javelin. Fuck. What was that? Bloody heck, Cleo. Z! We're going to be okay. He can't see us anymore. Just. That's the longest just, bullet I ever seen! Well, it, it was not a bullet, Cleo. It was a bloody Gerda. Might as well have been. It hits the same. You are right. Now we need to get in there quick. As you're gliding down, this time, n- not really injured, but you keep hearing these, these almost silent as debris is just being launched from the ground up into the air towards your approximate position. None of these ones are uh, anywhere near as close to hitting you, but still with this airy coming out of the darkness and almost silence, these weapons just being flung with telekinetic force. Cleo, we need to get out of this cone of vision. He's going to keep firing. I ain't tested the wings. I know it's not the plan, Cleo. We need to readjust this approach. We can't risk being hit this far up. We need to keep our strength for when we land. All right, well, I got an idea. You might not like it. Well, maybe just don't tell me the idea then. (laughs) Are you sure? Do I need to hold on tight? I'll do that part. Right, well then, you're free to go. Fingers in my ears. (laughs) La 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 la. I'm going to use Z as a sail. (laughs) <laughs> and that's how we're gonna steer to get out of the cone so go limp 
Lynn <laughs> Strait. Yep. Lynn. <laughs> You were given an opportunity to deny this request, and you... Uh, I'm realizing I should have uh, spoken up, but okay. I'm glad that you <laughs> responded the way that you did. <laughs> but you could use the, the, the party pose, go limp thing. Like, you go limp, and then you catch him like a parachute. Yeah. <laughs> go limp! Just go! Just go! Yep! <gasps> no snap! <gasps> snap! <laughs> As Cleo grabs two <laughs> extremities of the honey boy, the honey boy going limp and catching the air, <laughs> turning into a, a sort of parachute, slowing your descent even further. <laughs> we really are an all terrain vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Has done wonders for throwing off your approximate position in terms of the one tree leader. Is now <laughs> debris is just being launched in the completely wrong direction. That's great, because if he threw a girder at us right now, it would be worse. Clear, you did it. We did it! You're coming at, you're coming in, in the in the dark sky, so he just, he can't physically see Phenomenal. you. Phenomenal. He can only do it with his mind. Obviously, all of the ornamental LEDs on my suit are turned off. Or obscured <laughs> with webcam tape. All right, Cleo, look at this. And I'm going to project a map in front of us, showing the kind of holographic land that we're approaching. And be like... How do we want to take this? So you look down at the map, and it's, it's giving you a better vision because obviously it's dark down there. You're just getting flashes from the cannons and from the random rifle fire. It's a circular park type thing. There's a pond in the middle. There are mushrooms everywhere, and there's this sort of shanty town built around it. Um, I can assume that Z has sort of placed yeah, the, the ten cannons, and they are more or less equidistant around the um, the perimeter. Wow. You've got huts sort of all around surrounding the pond, which is where the um, the cultists themselves, for the most part, are hiding um, in amongst these these huts and lean-tos, firing their, their rifles. You've got the ten cannons around the exterior, and then you've got the pond in the middle, who pre- presumably contains the one true leader who's firing off psychic projectiles. Z! Yes, clear. All right. I got a visual on him. But I don't think we can take him out first. There's too much just other crap around him. That is an unelegant way of putting it, but I agree. Yep. Yeah. That's what I do. Now, if we put ourselves out in the open, it's gonna fire another long bullet at us. And I don't like it. I do not like them odds. Tell me you have a plan. So we gotta come in from the side. Got a stealth assassin your way. We gotta become one with the night, with the darkness. <laughs> ah, the fucking the, the yeah. You're, you've got your invisibility pack, your stealth generator, uh, and your fucking yes. your bloody ghost we axe. We gotta meld. Clear. Look up there, where the shadow of the night is coming in. That's it right there. We'll follow the shadow in. We ain't even here. We're just a fart. On the breeze. You are so close to having me completely with you. Clee, <laughs> <laughs> Theo, I've got about one good shot left in the shields on the Grey Dragon. I'm going to take out one of the cannons and then you're on your own. Trevor. Yes, see? You see that one that's just being eclipsed by the shadow of the night coming in? You want me to hit that one? Take it out. All right. Now after this, oh, I, wait. I'm going to be... Totally empty and shield, so... Wait, wait, wait. You need to get the rest of those cannons down before I can come in. Wait, wait, wait. Get I just you. had a thought. Maybe we should have him shoot at the other end as a distraction. Because, like, if he takes out the one... If that takes out yeah, that one... You guys could you guys could stealthily start taking them out from that side. Trevor, scrap that. Fire at the opposite end. Fire at anyone, actually, randomly. Don't even tell me which one you're going to take out. I can't know. It's important that we do not know which one you shoot at. Okay, but... Be careful, and you need to take out the rest of those cannons. I doubt Deets will move if you don't, and I certainly won't be able to come back. Trevor, before we go in there, Dark, we need to all know that everything that happens down there will be read and will be understood by a mind that is far greater than any of ours combined. Look for chaos. That will be us. Wow. You got me speechless there, Z. I'll look for the chaos. I'll be cycling around the buildings just out of range. Don't worry, we've got the brain for it. Hold Cleo's hand a bit harder. (laughs) Oh, 
you can't Mountain Dew. What? <laughs> <laughs> what did she just say? <laughs> <laughs> I laughed. <laughs> no, you said Mountain Dew what? <laughs> you can't Mountain Undo what's already been Mountain Done. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like literally a tagline that they've used to advertise? Uh, they will soon. So, huh? you know. Because that's good. You can't mount, you cannot Mountain Dew what's already been Mountain Done. All righty. So mm-hmm. let's just get a dex roll to see how well you can land in the shadowed area. Okay. From both of us? Just from Cleo, because she's oh, the one flying okay. this thing. Fuck, that's a negative five. Come on, Cleo. <laughs> well. <laughs> she got wings. She's I got do. wings. Red Bull gave but She's them not to necessarily me. great at using them. Well, it's a first time. It's a first time deal. And I feel like I have first timer's luck. And. Oh, I don't, shit. because Here I we got go, four. Though. This all works in our plan, Cleo. It's <laughs> so good. Zay! Yes, Cleo. your roll! Oh, bloody heck. Activate shields. We're coming in hard! <laughs> so, Cleo, for her part, she does manage to get you mostly on target towards the um the, the shadowy side of this part. Well done. Unfortunately, <laughs> she's, she's coming in a little high, and you can see Oops. that you're aiming for the side of one of the exterior side scrapers. Well... Luckily, Z has fired up the shields. As the two of you pulled in together, shields at the ready, glider sort of taking you in slow with Dr. Z sort of almost as a parachute slowing you even more. You're not going too crazy fast, but you do still just slam face first into the wall. Oh, bloody heck. Taking. Oh. Are you fuck? Are you serious? Zero points of damage because you're both <laughs> armored. I rolled a one. <laughs> Keen's armor holds for Agents of Chaos Rain! <laughs> Keen! That you two just go pink into the wall, then go dunk onto the ground. Yes! Cleo's wings re- retracting <laughs> automatically because Keenware is built. Keenware! <laughs> for the Agent of Chaos Rain. You just clump on the ground, like, you know, you, you look a tiny bit scraped, but really you just like, you know, your shields didn't even really need to do anything as your armor just sort of like go dunk took the blow. <laughs> Boy, bye! Cleo. And it's not not a moment too soon as you can hear like blast of fire and looking up to the sky you can see dive bombing through the air and I'm going to have to roll the piloting on this but uh, oh, Trevor, Trevor is coming in hot at the far side of the of the park coming in super low we're holy talking natural 20 shit <gasps> holy shit holy shit holy shit holy shit the cannons are all like frantically adjusting and firing on him but he is he's, he's got his shields fired up but he's predicting where they're going to go and he manages to avoid every single cannon blast oh. coming in swooping around yes, he's yes, only yes, a few yes, meters yes, above yes, the ground yes, 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 yes. as he fires off a, a few shots from the uh from the cannons of the gray dragon oh trevor and takes out one of the cannons and given that he still can take sustain a shot from the shields, he continues cycling around low down. Now you can see people scattering. Some of the cultists are abandoning their weapons and fleeing into the city as the gray dragon is just coming around super low. He's, he's a really difficult target for the cannons to take on now. As he takes a, sh- uh, he's uh, well, he's he's coming around to try and take out another cannon. Come on, Trevor. Wow, I've got a fourteen on this one. I mean. Don't stick around for too long, though, Trevor. Please. Just <laughs> so he, he, he comes around, taking out a second cannon. Get your nat 20 and get out. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> this is gambling territory now. <laughs> He's taken, the, taken out the second cannon, and there's just, like, these two fires burning now as Trevor finally attempts to make his exit. And I've rolled a 23. Whoa, Trevor <gasps> he is nailing it. What kind of stats did you fucking give Trevor? Jeez. Jesus. He's overpowered Violet. Oh, blob. Um, as he gets out, you hear like this. Woohoo! Oh. Tell you what, guys, if you need some sort of hasty exit, I'm rolling all sixes tonight. 
and he <laughs> vanishes up into the city, turning sideways to squeeze in between two of the skyscrapers, still at quite a low altitude. God. Wow. Without taking a single shot. I never oh wanted days. to be Trevor's boyfriend more than right now. <laughs> Trevor nailed it. So Jeez. Good. That and was he's amazing. rolling all sixes. Can you hear it? Yes. Oh, my days. That was good. Who are you going to call? Trevor the hero. <laughs> Damn. Meanwhile, back down on the ground. We're flat. Meanwhile, back down on the ground, we're peeling ourselves off a wall. Cleo, Cleo. Zay. That's a boy. That was a boy. It was. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Deets, can you hear me? The bastards have taken out two of the cannons. How many do you need before you can get your people in there? If you can take out more than half, we will advance. Don't worry about it. We're just, uh, we've just had a successful landing, and, uh, oh, yep, clear, ready. Yeah, well, the, <coughs> the show, the show is just heckin' started, so. <laughs> <coughs> Lock and load. Yeah, show you how it's done. Oh, ZD, you got a band-aid. And so, moving silently, or at least their best approximation of silently, through the shadows, drawing their most silent and deadly weapons, the, the, the ghost axe, the, uh, the series of energy blades, and I'm assuming keeping the, the shields and stealth at the ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The bastards do their first ever stealth mission. <laughs> Take out some more of the cannons. <laughs> Call the episode. Oh, oh my days! Can we just keep playing all night instead? I would, I would rather uh, do that than uh, what I'm actually gonna do in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just, I mean, want to keep going. I probably do need some sleep. I don't, uh, I don't know think that that's, that's true. true. I don't think game masters need sleep. I think they, don't they can just actually kind of pull on old like, powers. Don't you have like a generator or like? Yeah, it's kind of. I mean, as soon as you start bringing Dietz's arm into the mix, I'm going to have what? How many more NPCs to keep control of? It's just going to be coming. Well, <sighs> now. Well, it's yeah. too bad. That seems like a problem you built for yourself. Seems like a dick problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Our problems are enough. All right. You got dick problems. You got a dick problem. <laughs> we got a bill for it. <laughs> it's called Zio. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm I'm loving the uh, the epic nature of how we're going here, though. I uh, can't believe this is where we're at. Two episodes ago, we were partying. Then we were asked to go meet up with a drug dealer, and now we're fucking here. This is wild, and it's so good, and it's everything that we've we've, we've, we've moved very fast. I mean, this is we haven't had this sort of like sudden escalation since Zarg Moon. I don't think. No, probably not. No, but unlike Zarg Moon. We are aware of what's happening now, and we, well, at least we think we are. I mean, you thought you thought you we thought you were aware. We then. The minute well. that you said <laughs> that, I was like, "Shit." We are we are attacking, but we're not attacking so secretly this time. We are well. I guess we are. Well, maybe it's the exact same as Zag Moon. God damn. <laughs> Just, well, no. I mean, you're you're not sitting down at a table and like letting them poison you. No, it's, uh, no. We're not trying to be subtle. No, you're you're stealthing through the night with an armor piercing axe. I was very proud of the girder as well. That oh, was yeah, that was great. Dick, that was legitimately scary. <laughs> that was so like, scary. You're, you're hang gliding in the dark, in the night, and then just this almost silent <laughs> whistling past. Suddenly you're like, what the fuck was that? That actually made oh. me like be like, ooh. Yeah, ah. that was... Because... Yeah, I, was like, I mean, like he's telling it, he's going to be throwing shit at you. He doesn't quite know where you are, though. So it makes it a horror situation, you know, because like... If the if the monster doesn't quite know where you are, but it's like hurling something in that direction, that's yeah. spooky. No, that was scary. Well, Dicky, that was man. I mean, it just every every time we sit down to play, you're just a blowing my mind. I've been 
playing games with you for years and it just never ceases to amaze me how much you can just like fucking boom here you go you thought you'd done a siege before you haven't done a siege like this you know you thought you'd done an infiltration mission before you haven't done one like this you thought you went and had dinner at a diner before you probably have done one like this I mean, the diner is a true, true, it's interest, a true, true, true interested, oh, it, tr- true interested one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys, I mean, are providing a whole lot of the energy forward with this, though, because I kind of, I, I knew like, kind of what's going on with the deets and like, you know, like where I sort of want you, to, want you to go with this, which is basically like you, you've got to get in there and you've got to, you've got to deal with this one true leader. There's, there's no ifs and buts about it. it. Yeah, it's got to be stopped. But even just the entire idea of like bringing everyone to like a round table meeting and like getting that on. Obviously, like that all happened before the episode started, so maybe maybe I could just take credit for that. But that was these guys. This is their plan. Oh. You know, we are technically playing a tabletop game. We're just like, hiding some of it. From it's, you. It is as you have always said. It is uh, tabletop games aren't uh, aren't rules. It's not all of that. It is the uh, it's collaborative storytelling. And wow, I am loving the direction that this collaborative story is going. It's a uh, it's blowing my mind. I'm having so much fun. I genuinely want to play all night tonight. Uh, I, I think we may need to record sooner than uh, than usually planned because I'm just in it. I'm very excited. I mean, having having a few uh, few in the bag ready to edit isn't a bad thing. Not oh, the worst. Not the worst, but damn. Damn, I, and I hope everyone out there listening is enjoying it. Thank you so much for joining us on this uh, this bloody adventure. And it is but it's yeah, properly it is. that it is proper an adventure at the moment. Oh, it's mind mind blowing. Every, every time I you know, every time I come back and check these stats, like there's there's more of you it's listening. It's, it's, it's so, so great. It's so wild and so it, fun. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's it's kind of humbling. It's like okay, like yeah. this little thing we're making. It's yeah. people listen to it. People come back and listen to it again. So thank you for doing that. I mean, because presumably, I mean, maybe you've started on this episode, but uh, pr- you've probably most of you've listened to a bunch of them. So I know, uh, it's wild. Good work. And, and and it's just it is just the three of us as well. So you know, it just you you make our little small team just so happy and proud and yeah. and uh, excited yeah. to keep doing this because heck, it's heck. our it's our dream to do it full time. But at the moment, this is. This is nice. This is great. Yeah, I mean, I have a ball doing it, and you know, I have even more of a ball doing it. Like when I'm energized from, like you know, <laughs> yeah. hearing someone say what they liked about the yes. last one. Like, I mean, I'm sure some of you have been listening. Like you realize, like there's, uh, you know, we, we, we take on board some of the things that uh that, that we hear about prior episodes. I feel like this episode might have even addressed some issues for perhaps, uh, from a previous perhaps episode. Perhaps it has. Uh, Perhaps it's, it's great. I mean, uh, you know what Dickie's talking about is we have a Discord group, and if you can go into the show notes right now, you'll find uh, a link to that Discord group. Come and join us there. We chat daily. I mean, Taylor, the Cleo, is there every day sharing memes. Yep. Sorry, <laughs> there's a whole pit of memes. I can't even keep up with the memes. Too many. That's it's a so, problem so many. that I have sometimes too. <laughs> Every now and then, I'll go in there. I'll be like, you know what? I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to look at the bottom ten memes because. Yeah, uh, it's, so yeah good. it's definitely it is a personal problem. <laughs> no, it is not a problem. It is a blessing, <laughs> and I love it. And I think Ask everyone the in the channel loves it. Storage on my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> If you want to come and hang in the Discord, come and meme with Cleo, come and chat with us. Anything you want to know, anything you want to tell wanna us. Tell us when your birthday we, is. Show us a picture of your dog. We'd love to hear about it. Definitely. And yeah, I mean, if you haven't already, like, g- give us give us a little rating on whatever it is you're listening to this song. Oh, that'd be huge. Uh, that seems to be helping us a lot, you know? We've been really getting recommended been, on Spotify lately. and everything. Yeah. That is making a big difference. It seems so th- really thanks asinine. To who, like, thanks to, you know. Mm. I mean, it, you never think it's it how matters. it works. It's the game. It's the algorithm. Because mm-hmm. I mean, like... There are times even when I'm like, uh, it's not going to do anything if I rate this thing, you know, but yeah. it's, it's weirdly powerful. Yeah. It's, it's huge. You hold all the power in your hand. You it's do. huge. And, uh, you know, the artifact. if you want even more power, if you want to feel the full Too power much of power, being a, well, I mean, Patreon hanging out right there. Oh. I mean, we got a bunch of bonus content for you. We recorded one earlier earlier this evening, in fact. Uh, yes. We, we do a second podcast called Sidearm, where we just talk about the issues facing the world today. That we do. Oh, it's just us chatting shit. You know, the main show, Backwater Bastards, will always be free and available to all. But if you want to hear just extra stuff, extra bits of our voices talking about nonsense, well, then that's Sidearm. And you can get that from the patron. And hey, if you become a patron, you know, 
you could join the illustrious list of uh, of names that I sing in, a, in an off the cuff song oh, at the end of every episode. Oh, a cheeky little song is it? Cheeky little song time, Dicky. Cheeky little oh, I th- song. I think, I think it's cheeky little song time. So, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, Here we oh, go. Settle in. Settle in. <laughs> Aiden, Chris Beam, and Cleolithia, <laughs> Jasper, the Bard, Chris, and Jolie, Claude, Ever Proud, Jason, Tobias, Isaac, Waco, Bodie, <laughs> Max, Jimmy, Govin, Pale. Shima Duff and Bantooth <laughs> A Trailer Forever Randy Lovings Nicola <laughs> The Obeil Queen Marcus Brackleman Lucas Duff <laughs> And oh, don't forget the first one on that list it's cheaper by the dungeon Damn, oh Dickie. God. I can't believe you're still pulling out different ones every time. That one. I mean, I'm going I'm going for the genre music now. Oh, it's great. It's brilliant. <laughs> A country oh. legend. Get your name sung by our dick Hank at Williams the end of an Camper episode Bale. in a cheeky little song. Oh, thank you so much, Dickie, for that show. Thank you all for listening. And until next time, bye. 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 Tune in next time for another Edge of Your Seat adventure in space with the Backwater Bastards. If you enjoy listening, but also have eyes, check out our Instagram where we post drawings, illustrations, character art from our adventures. Backwater underscore bastards. Check out our Instagram on Instagram. Right there. There. Let's turn this up here. Oh, oh, goggles down. All right. I'm firing it up. (laughs) 